Hello everyone. Welcome to our tutorial on credit card fraud detection using the random forest classifier. In this video, we'll walk through the process of exploring and pre-processing the data, training a random forest classifier model, and evaluating its performance. Before we dive into the code, let's briefly discuss the random forest classifier. Random Forest is a powerful ensemble learning method used for classification and regression tasks. It constructs multiple decision trees during training and outputs the mode of the classes for classification or the average prediction for regression. One of its advantages is its ability to handle large datasets with high dimensionality, making it suitable for our credit card fraud detection task. So, let's get to the coding part. We have already uploaded the data in the Collab Upload section. Name of the data is creditcard.csv. Let us import all packages required. Import pandas as pd. This line imports the pandas library and allows us to use its functionality with the shorthand pd throughout the code. Import numpy as np. This line imports the numpyy library and allows us to use its functionality with the shorthand np throughout the code. From sklearn.mo dale underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split, this line imports the train underscore test underscore split function from scikit-learn, which splits datasets into training and testing subsets for model evaluation. From sklearn.ensemble import random forest classifier, this line imports the random forest classifier class from scikit-learn, enabling us to create and train random forest classification models. From imblearn.over underscore sampling import random oversampler, this line imports the random oversampler class from the imbalanced learn library, which helps address class imbalance by oversampling the minority class. From sklearn.metrics import classification underscore report, confusion underscore metrics, accuracy underscore score, this line imports specific evaluation metrics such as classification report, confusion metrics, and accuracy score from scikit-learn for model evaluation. Data exploration and pre-processing This line reads the dataset from a CSV file named creditcard.csv into a pandas data frame called data. This line retrieves the dimensions, number of rows and columns of the dataset stored in the pandas data frame data. This line calculates the number of duplicate rows in the dataset stored in the pandas data frame data. This line removes duplicate rows from the dataset stored in the pandas data frame data in place, meaning it modifies the data frame directly.
This line calculates the sum of null or missing values in each column of the dataset stored in the pandas data frame data. As you can see there is no missing data. This line calculates the frequency of each unique value in the class column of the dataset stored in the pandas data frame data, providing insight into its distribution. The dataset contains features like v1 to v28, time, amount, and the target variable class. We observed that the data is imbalanced, with only 473 fraud transactions against 283,253 genuine transactions. Feature Engineering and Splitting Data This line separates the features, independent variables, from the labels dependent variable in the dataset stored in the pandas data frame data with features stored in the data frame x after removing the class column and labels stored in the series y. This line splits the dataset into training and testing sets for both features and labels using the train underscore test underscore split function from scikit-learn. It assigns 80% of the data to the training set, x underscore train, y underscore train, and 20% to the testing set, x underscore test, y underscore test, dot, the stratify parameter ensures that the class distribution is maintained in both the training and testing sets and random underscore state is equal to 40 to ensures reproducibility by fixing the random seed. This code snippet applies random oversampling to balance the class distribution in the training set, addressing the issue of class imbalance. The random oversampler from the imbalanced learn library is used with a specified random seed for reproducibility. It resamples the minority class instances, fraudulent transactions, by randomly duplicating them until both classes have an equal number of instances, returning the resampled feature set, x underscore resampled, and label set, y underscore resampled for training. Training the classifier model.
This code initializes a random forest classifier with 100 trees and a fixed random seed, then trains the classifier using the resampled data to learn patterns and make predictions. Model Evaluation This line uses the trained random forest classifier to predict the labels of the test data x underscore test, storing the predicted labels in the variable y underscore pre. This line prints the confusion matrix which shows the true positive, false positive, true negative, and false negative predictions made by the model on the test data. The confusion matrix provides a clear summary of the model's performance by showing the distribution of correct and incorrect predictions, aiding in the evaluation of the classifier's effectiveness. The classification report provides a detailed evaluation of the model's performance by calculating precision, recall, F1 score, and support for each class, in this case, fraud and non-fraud transactions. It offers insights into the model's ability to correctly classify instances of each class, helping assess its overall effectiveness in detecting fraudulent transactions. The accuracy score measures the proportion of correctly classified instances among all instances in the test set. It provides a straightforward metric for evaluating the overall performance of the classification model, indicating how well it predicts both fraudulent and non-fraudulent transactions. That concludes our tutorial on credit card fraud detection using the random forest classifier. We've explored the data, preprocessed it, trained the model, and evaluated its performance. Random Forest is a robust algorithm for such tasks, providing accurate results even with imbalanced data. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.